the Grammys the other night, you know, like for uh, NWA to receive, you know, for Easy and their mother and all of them was up sure. there. How big was that? This is actually Easy es vision. He's the one who uh, allowed us to do the type of music. I mean, that was huge. Um, I mean, NWA, you know, I'm glad white people finally figuring it out. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. We need it, bro. Yeah, we need someone essence, through. bro. Yeah. Like, like, you don't really, like, people not really get, to me, like I told Lil Kiki, like, you see the ones who really putting projects out yeah. versus people just throwing stuff out. You can tell what's yeah. really thought through and put out in a, and, and pretty much when you lay it out, you like, oh, yeah, that's, you get serious about the way you present it. Well, we can't rest on our laurels at this point. Hip hop can't just no longer rest on the greatness of its past. People are demanding it again. You know what I mean? We can't just rest on what, you know, Bad Boy and and Wu Tang and Dr. Dre and Death Row and 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 Ruthless and 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 No Limit and Cash Money did in the eighties, nineties, and the two thousands. That day is over. Like we rolled that out like an artist who tours off one hit record. And you know, at first you. You think it's about the whole album, but it's really this one hit record. That's and it. The first year is great, and you doing 10,000 people. And then five years now, you're doing 3,000 people, but you're putting out music and none of the records. And hip-hop is now in a space where it's like 800 people in a room, and, you know, it, people are demanding that we step it up, you know, as, as a genre as well to, to deliver to the rest of the world, like, to be worthy of the praise again. Like that we rolled the last great wave, probably which was the two thousands. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now we're riding them, you know, twelve years deep as a complete genre. You know what I mean? It's only too it's too many specs now. Yeah. I mean, there's only so many J. Coles, there's only so many Drakes. You know what I mean? There's only so many wise. It's only a handful of great artists versus the nineties and two thousands where they were like boatloads of them. So yeah. we rolled off the highs of hip hop for a good twelve years, and now everybody's like, "Okay, we over it. What y'all got now?" Wow. So it's our job to make sure we show that there's something there still. Wow. I just like I said, man. I, I be thinking about different things that happen up here, like the Grammys the other night. You know, like for uh, NWA to receive, you know, for Easy and their mother and all of them was up sure. there. How big was that? This is actually Easy es vision. He's the one who uh, allowed us to do the type of music. I mean, that was huge. Um, I mean, NWA, you know, I'm glad white people finally figuring it out. Shout out to the white folks that's finally figuring <laughs> out that NWA is important and, you know, in this in this life that we all live. But people like Killer Mike, that was to I me. I was about to bring that up next. I was about to ask you that. <laughs> yeah. Like, you that kind of, well, that that kind of like shocked crazy. me. Like, what the hell? They didn't let yeah. him go up there anyway. Well, you know, that. Then they arrested him. I mean, he's a gangster rapper. That's fine. I'm one of the few people that believe as a gangster rapper. You know, if they giving your publicist a hard time getting it, snatch somebody up. <laughs> getting arrested, they never heard hip hop. We're going to sell more records. That's real. You no, know, this ain't gospel music. You know, this is gangster rap. So Killer Mike makes street rap. And he's a real man. He's really from the corner. And he achieved, you know, unheightened. You know, he, he's reached. You know, great heights and levels at this point with three Grammys in a row, you feel me? So if he had to snatch a nigga up or two, I'm okay with that. Yeah. And nobody is going to judge him for it. It's Killer Mike. Real His talk. name is Killer Mike. Killer Mike. If all yeah. he did was snatch somebody up by their collar, I, I think they made off good. How did you like that project, D? He got three Grammys. You know man. what's funny? It was worth it. Was it was a sweep. Yeah. And it, and it was rightfully so. It was put together incredibly well. Um, they wanted that. Mike wanted that. And the Grammy goes to scientists and engineers, Killer Mike. More than everybody else. He was happy. And I'm glad the Grammys really gave it to somebody who won it, who really went through what it would take to make a great musical composition from the space that is hip hop. Hey! Hey! Especially in a in genre where they stick all the rap in the same place. And some of these people, I don't know. You know, they talking about all kinds of shit. They mashing different things. And Mike just represents the streets. Mm -hmm. That's it. He don't represent nobody else. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it was dope for hip hop to get those three Grammys, man. I enjoyed it, man. That that whole show was like, man, like far as it brought back. I thought I had some vibes of the, you remember the Vibe Award when yeah. things just going crazy? Yeah. You remember them yeah. when Snoop looking in the crowd yeah. when Quiz? Yeah. <laughs> Like, you remember them days? Yeah, hip-hop, man. Hip-hop something else, man. Man, I'm, I, and, and we need to be something else. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the only way it's going to work. We, 
We can't be like the. We can't be Taylor Swift. Mm, it's yeah. not gonna work for it. They got Taylor Swift. They already, you know, the table already got the coleslaw with the raisins on it. I mean, the potato salad with the raisins on the table. They don't need no more unseasoned food. They got enough up there. They need some, you know, you. Yeah, you got to watch your blood pressure, but you need some seasoning on the table. Right. And and, and hip hop and gangster rap has always brought that seasoning. That's true. You know, it's like imagine a barbecue without no greens. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a real barbecue. You know, it ain't no. I have a little pork up there. Let's talk about the title. Council, council these, what, what, council these what? Council these nuts. Council these what? Nigga, council these nuts. I wrote this with a pimp hanging off my lip, bitch hanging off my dick, fifth hanging off the whip. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what made you come up with that title? Um, I'm a man and I'm going to say what I want to say. You know, I'm not going to have no regards for what nobody else think. You know what I mean, I'm a man and I'm going to say what I want to say and that's it. Like, I don't care what it costs. So, yeah, I hang with like Faison and a lot of people that feel that way. Like they gonna say they ain't for the try to uh, uh, Eddie Griffin. Mm-hmm. Like it's certain people that ain't compromising and ain't ain't selling. You know, they Dave ain't, Chappelle, Dave yeah. Chappelle, and I love those type of people. They ain't playing. You know? what, what you need though, you, the world needs people like us. Balance. You know, so who's gonna talk for you? No. I always say I talk for my barbershop. That's all. Ain't nobody can say this shit. They get fired at their jobs. Somebody spending their food. Me. I say it for you. Just come tell me. Oh, really? And, I, and where I'm at now, I feel like such a voice for so many different ghettos. Like, not just even the ghettos of Compton or the ghetto that is Watts or the ghetto that's Los Angeles. I feel like I go to barbershops in Atlanta and people are like, man, Glass, you know what's bothering me? And I'm like a therapist in the community. And I'm like, I'm going to talk. You know, if, it, if I could make it make sense, I'm going to express your frustrations with the mm-hmm. world at that time. Nigga, guess me. I wrote this with a pimp hanging off my lip, bitch hanging off my dick, fifth hanging off the whip. Well, CEO Serum. So long. I wanna. I'm on this album right oh, quick okay, here. Cedric the Entertainer. The yeah. feature that that was a feature. No, 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 that was a skit. But that's I just a wanted skit. to make you sure people know who was talking. Talking. Okay, yeah. so you always show them the recognition. Yeah. Samuel L. Yeah, Jackson yeah. as well. Same thing. That's hard, man. I don't want people to be like thinking like you don't know who this is. Yeah, like, yeah. You educating at the same yeah. time. Man, I, I like I said, man, the thing is, the whole project and just going out to see this, to get this, man, I'm valuing this. This is going back in my spot. It's, it's going to be at the spot. We're going to put it where it can be and seen. And I'll make sure when I come out the door, I'll bring you on the plate, too. Okay. Okay. I really want I, people I to this play Yeah, this is not going to get over. This is not going to get played. Okay, cool. Then I'll bring I'm you a little right that you can play. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I don't want you to just have car. We don't just have car. We drive all this shit. All so right. <laughs> you have one to sit, but I'm going to make sure I bring yeah. you one to drive. I just want in the store, like, when it, you know, yeah. when things is happening. Just in case you get a vinyl. You want to put it on? Oh, we do. We got still got one. the one, or did she? What did she do? Did she sell it? I go and buy one. Don't worry. About okay, it. my daughter, she she, she had brown now, so we she don't know she took everything. this or sold that. She sure. tough, man. Yeah. Right. Right. A hustler, you know what right. I'm talking. There you go. I'm gonna get some money. Okay, yeah. so I gotta ask this question. I need your definition on it. Um, when somebody say I make music compared to when you saying that I'm a musician, what's the difference between the two? That little lady a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> that lady a little slow. <laughs> I, I don't know if she was just trolling or whatnot, but you know, I pray for her because she's just she's special, like especially. Because I was reading them comments and somebody said, well, a musician is the person that, you know, plays instruments. It's not actually like a rapper or a singer yeah, or something like that. It's not true. It's, um, not, true. it's, it's not true. And, and I don't think that was her stance either, though. I don't think it I, was. I think she kept, I don't know what she thought. But again, man. The Sukiana thing. Yeah. She's somebody to me that don't really represent. She it's like her and Sexy Red almost do the same thing, but mm-hmm. hers is more like uh, it's ridiculous. Mm. Yeah, it's over the top. It's that like y'all just gotta get used to that. What? Is it's that really? Right yeah, it is. Yeah, right now. I'm thinking it's, it was like a train or something right like that. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's the first time we done had an earthquake on Boss Talk One On One. God, yeah, we go. already know. Welcome to y'all, get, this, y'all get earthquakes a lot. I mean, not a lot, but I've had enough to where it's not like I'm going to jump up and run nowhere. Where you going to run to? That's what I'm saying. So it's just let's keep going. And <laughs> Wow. And I'm from Jamaica, so we, get, we, we have earthquakes as well. But the first thing I'm thinking about is I'm on the eighth floor. Yeah, I'm not even thinking, <laughs> fuck it. If it's time, it's time. It's time. There you go. We're going to get this work in. They better look this up one year yeah. and be like, man, them people's in the middle of the earthquake. <laughs> 
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.